What's up guys, Chris here, and today guys, we have another unlock guide on Battlefield 5, this time for the Grease Gun. And actually, first off, let's pray that this will stop the Type 2A spam, because pretty much, when a new weapon comes out, everyone's gonna use it, as we've seen with the Type 2A and previous weapons before. But, um, this, this SMG is slow firing, so it shouldn't be that much of a pain, but I'm pretty sure people are still gonna use the Type 2A, no matter what. But, if you're like me, who just doesn't care and just wants to unlock these new weapons, here we go. Um, so first off, this is the final Tides of War assignment for Chapter 5, so we will have to wait for Chapter 6 for these guides to return. But, uh, anyway, this is a relatively easy assignment, which is nice as it's the last one. The first assignment requires you to capture three objectives, easy as it is. Uh, just play, you know, your favorite mode, Conquest, Breakthrough, or any mode that you like. Uh, just make sure it has some objective in it that allows you to capture objectives. Uh, the next assignments actually have three parts in them, and one is optional. And the top part, which is the optional assignment, requires you to kill one enemy from a distance of 100 meters or more. Which is kind of easy if, you know, you're using a sniper, semi-auto, or self-loading rifle, or even a tank, so... Just try to stay at the back of the map or something or on an objective and just, you know, look out for people. The middle assignment requires you to kill or squad assist 10 enemies. And really, you can just get the 10 kills by yourself. It's not in a round based assignment. Um, it's just, you know, in any game. So I think, you know, just get the 10 kills by yourself. It'll be done in no time. The bottom assignment requires you to spot 25 enemies using spotting flares. Uh, this pretty much explains itself again. Uh, just make sure to pick up some ammo, ammo frequently as you'll be running out of flares quickly since I'm pretty sure it's only one flare per life. So just be on the lookout for ammo stations and ammo boxes. Moving on, the fourth assignment requires you to heal teammates or damage enemies for 2,500 score. Uh, this is easy as it says again. Pretty much you can actually get this in one game if you're, you know, trying enough. You can play as Medic and use, you know, your favorite SMG, and you'll be fine. Now again, we have three assignments here, only one is optional again, and that optional assignment requires you to kill six enemies in one life. Uh, this one may be hard if you're not that good enough, but I would say run a gun that you like and you feel like, you know, you dominate with, and just take a massive dong on the enemies, so pretty much just go full try hard to them, go full, you know, broken machine on them, pretty much. The middle assignment requires you to kill one enemy using melee weapons or bayonets. So pretty much just run any melee weapon. I would recommend a bat since it goes into an animation really fast and also you just get to beat the crap out of enemies. Um, but also if you are playing on the Pacific maps, uh, make sure to look out for the katana pickup as well. Because certainly um, it allows you to swing faster and also kill a bunch of enemies faster as well. The bottom assignment requires you to build 20 fortifications in objective areas. So what I would say is just stay in the objective once it's safe and activate Fortnite mode, aka engineer mode on the support class. And pretty much just start building. Now if you were confused there, the engineer perk I guess is a like a specific role on the, on the support class. Here's a screenshot of it. Uh, pretty much it allows you to build faster than like any other class. So. Uh, equipping this will definitely get this assignment done pretty easily. The final assignment requires you to capture 12 objectives, which is easy as the first one. Uh, pretty much just play any mode that has a flag, and play the goddamn objective. Don't just try to get kills. Also play the objective, get the win for your team, and boom, you'll have the grease gun. There is also an optional assignment, uh, which requires you to kill 15 enemies with headshots using the grease gun. Obviously, you have to unlock it. <laughs> Um, but I think they're doing this assignment because the uh, Grease Gun is actually a slow firing SMG which allows for more accuracy so pretty much just aim at the head and spray I guess. And there you go the M3 Grease Gun is yours so um, pretty much I don't think most people will use it because obviously the Type 2A is not nerfed but I don't care I'll use this thing I'll try to get a gameplay I guess for you guys because it, this assignment is actually pretty easy. Um, so yeah. Oh, and before I end this video, um, I had some people on the Type 2A unlock guide having trouble to like claim this gun. Um, I'll show a video on screen right now. So pretty much we're in the menu here. Um, you have to go to the armory, and if it has like a little white dot by it, that means there's something new in there. And it'll auto automatically uh, redirect you to the shipments tab. And you have to either click Y if you're on Xbox or Triangle on PS4. 
I don't know which button it is on PC, but you can figure that out. But pretty much clicking that um, allows you to claim the gun so that you can actually use it. But that's about it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, drop a like. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Shaiko of Chris, and I'm signing out.